way of their sound check. First day to the tour. Now, first of all, I want to congratulate you on the success of the new record. Oh, go, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. What? You got. I, I came here saying, once I get through the Megadeth show and hear anything that Dave wants to say about my haircut, then it's all downhill from here. So go ahead. I like your hair, Ricky. See, I'm I'm ready with all these comebacks, and then he hits you with one of those, catches me totally off guard. Anyways, back onto the record. Congratulations. I told you when it first came out. I know you already knew it, but uh, I knew that it was going to do really well, and obviously it is doing real well. And uh, you're back in America now, where the record is sold in excess of a million records. I mean, how many has it sold so far? In excess of a million records. Which is your first platinum record? As far as I know, yeah. Congratulations. Well, thanks, thanks, thanks. And uh, do things seem a little bit different? I mean, they show tour dates in USA Today now. I know, which is a trip. <laughs> I heard about that. That's pretty. That's pretty bizarre. So, do you think that the America that you're going to see different American fans? I mean, obviously, they're probably going to turn out in greater numbers yeah, now. Yeah, there's going to be a whole horde of paper boys here tonight. That are that are oh, because of the USA Today show, the Light USA bulb. Today thing. That, it takes me a while to get it, but I'll, but I'll pick up on it. So, are there any things that you're going to be doing? Um, any any cities that you're really looking forward to playing out here on the American tour? Talk yeah. over the jet. Los Angeles. Which is New Year's Eve. Yes. Headlining Long Beach Arena. Right. It's got to be good. Did you ever headline? I know I saw you play there opening up for Alice Cooper once a long time ago. We played there with Cooper, you know, a couple other people. And uh, this is definitely our first time, you know, parading around the country. Headlining, headlining. bigger venues. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we've headlined, we've headlined before, but... It was never anything of this magnitude, you know, doing a proper tour with proper touring personnel and... Like in New York City, you're playing three nights at the Ritz, which is kind of cool. Rather than opting for a much bigger venue, you're playing three nights at a medium place, so... you got to think about the cultural status of playing in, in New York. It's not like one of those places where you want to... you want to play a really big thing, because it's not that intimate, and the audience in New York are pretty... Uh, pretty different, pretty obscure. They like to see their bands up close, and when it comes into where a band that they consider their own is playing, you know, the the felt form or whatever, you know, it's kind of like, you know, okay, well, we don't like them anymore. So we figured rather than, you know, be big in our own minds, we, you know, do a few few nights in a different place, which is cool, you know, because I, you know, I, I don't really dig playing to, like, people's expectations. Yeah, kind of when it's intimate and the kids go nuts, kind of right in your I face. I like doing my own thing, you know. I mean, some nights we play in front of you know, a few thousand, sometimes we play in front of a hundred thousand. And it's never a dull moment because when you play in, in venues where there's not a lot of people, you have a much more intimate rapport with the people, you know, up front. I can't really concentrate on looking out into the audience too much anyways. I mean, unless I stop playing, because it's really hard to, you know, play my guitar and sing at the same time. I mean, not that it's impossible but it does make me kind of feel like an android sometimes. We're going to be back talking to Dave and hanging out throughout the show. And uh, right now we're going to commercials and come back with Megadeth from Miami Beach, Florida.
darkness of its way of life. A dark black past is my most valued possession. Inside is always 2020. Looking back, it's still a bit fuzzy. Speak of mutually assured destruction. Nice story. Time to read a statue. paranoid, you and me, your foster man. Anxiety's attacking me, my ear is dead. We just saw a little bit of Megadeth live, and now it's time for us to play a video for a band that you know that I dig a lot. They start off as a thrash band, and they will always be a thrash band. Six albums so far, I think, and still no ballads. And they're going to be on the Headbangers Ball in a couple weeks, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Here is Exodus, and go out and buy their new album, It Smokes. This is called Good Day to Die. Show oh, you yeah, a little bit of Megadeth live. from Suicidal Tendencies. Now the first show of the first night of the tour is just completed and uh, how's it feel? I'm going to Disneyland. No. Uh, feels good. Yeah. Robert, would you elaborate? Feels nice. Um, I especially like the nice warm breeze flowing through my skin and the impact that it had on my performance. Um, my basses really love this show tonight. Yeah, now one thing I want to say you know, I've seen a lot of opening bands, and when you guys went on, it was totally packed. Everybody knew, especially like when you did Pledge Your Allegiance, everybody did, you know, knew the words, and it was, it was very cool that everybody knew the words, even to Mommy, you know, that they knew the words to the older songs as well. Don't you agree? Absolutely. You know, when, it, when, when, when a song is written about people's mamas and stuff, there's a reaction. And people are going, I see your mommy and your mommy's dead. Comida de mamá. Which means? Uh, Tell me talking about me in Spanish. Nana Frankenstein. Nana Frankenstein is a bassist. She's from Aguas Caliente, Mexico, and she's yeah. really good. A little old lady, about 60 years old, cooks like beans and rice. Where, where, did, where did this subject come up? She says she's 58. Well, you know she's going to be up. Talking about them doing songs, they knew the words, and we're talking about... 